My brother, he was a rear gunner, in, uh, uh, and he, I just had joined up and was in uh, training in Brandon, Manitoba when I got word that my brother had been shot down. He was a rear gunner like I was, and he got shot down uh, over an island just off the Zyder Zee in Holland. And uh, I stood at the foot of his grave mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, it really shakes you up. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's something to see your brother standing there. Pray hard that it never happens again. Mm -hmm. And thank fellows like this that came back. Because they laid their life on the line for you. I know it was a long time before your time, but that's what they did. You might not be here if it wasn't for them. And thank them every chance you get. You know, I went back and you could see the change. And they really, you know, appreciate on what we've done. You know, stopped at the war there at the 38 parallel. And you could, you know, they, they were all starving and now they're walking around in shirt and ties, suits, and women are well-dressed, new buildings. That's one thing we can say that we've done, you know. But to make a Canada Remembers educational series is just important. What will change in my life is that I will not look at them as I used to. I always used to look at them as brave men and women who served for us. Now, I look at them as pure heroes. There is no way to put into words how to say thank you to a veteran because we wouldn't be in Canada living with our peace, and neither would half the world. You're talking to a veteran and you know that they were in the middle of the biggest conflict, well, what we regard as the biggest conflict that has ever happened on Earth. It, there's no way to... It's, it's, real, it's very difficult to talk to them because how do you respect someone enough to, so that they know that you appreciate them that much? It's, it's too hard. <laughs> so I guess if I'm speaking to a veteran right now, thanks. What a show, what a fight, yes we really hit our target for tonight, how we sing as we limp through the air, look below, there's our field over there. For anybody who's had operational service and gone to a different country, whether it's Yugoslavia or whether it's Afghanistan, whether it's someplace in Africa or, or the Middle East or South America or the dozens of other places that we've sent Canadian soldiers, they all come back with one thing in common, and that's an appreciation for how fortunate we are to live in the country that we do. And that country exists because of the contribution made by veterans. Young people can't forget that, but they have to be educated about that. And so events like this help to educate the youth, not to show them the neat army trucks and the rifles, but more importantly, get them a chance to see those veterans on parade. And as long as somebody tells them that story, then they'll have a better appreciation for it. And that's key. In some ways, my, not only my career is still living, and some of them that lost their lives in the crash that I survived. That's another reason why I want to tell the story. So that, you know, they're not here to do it. And I am. I just wanted to say thank you very much for what you did during the war and um, I just really appreciate it. Um, I'm a teacher so I teach my students all about um, why they should remember the veterans and, and the wars and uh, I just think what you did was really brave and courageous and I commend you and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you all.